Hello everyone and welcome to another video. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you all how to use the adaptive cruise control and the infotainment system on the Mazda CX-5. So the adaptive cruise controls uh, buttons are mounted on the right side of the steering wheel. So in order to start using that, there are clear mark buttons to switch it on and off. So when I press the mode on, you will see like there is a notification which pops up on my screen, which says that the cruise control is active now. In order to start using the cruise control, uh, whenever I want to set at some speed, I can go to that speed and press the set button and it would set uh, and show you the speed out here and also on the uh, heads up display which is out there also if you want to go down you can uh, increase or decrease the speed in a step of five kilometers by pressing the button minus or plus and in order to resume the cruise control from where you left it you can just press it in and there is another switch which is maintaining the distance so if i show you on the screen it will actually show me right now without the cruise control yes so you can see it's usually thick white bars that will show the distance to the next car so that you can set using this uh, button out here and in order to switch off the cruise control you can press this cancel button so the infotainment screen is a tft screen but a little bit smaller but it's all right i mean it's not in your eyes when you are driving it. It's a TFT touch screen and also it can be used using the dials out here. So this is the volume uh, dial and this is the main controller. There are shortcut buttons for your navigation, home and music and the back button and the favorite button. So the, the best bit about these dials, even I mentioned in the full uh, uh, review video also which you can check by clicking on the pop-up banner out here that uh, you know these dials have no play at all in them and they are such a quality dial so let's start uh, seeing the infotainment screen so you have the applications inside the first thing and you can see the fuel monitor in that you can see your daily fuel you know consumption the vehicle status monitor there is also um apple carplay and the android auto with which you can uh, uh, you know access from that menu there is also entertainment in that there is dedicated entertainment button when you go inside there is fm am there is bluetooth there is usb so the usb when you uh, plugged in any usb you would get to see that option and click on it and then we go to the auto memory which is automatically it will put up a, um, uh, a, a radio list for you of all the stations and then there is the favorite which you can also access using this button so there is also after that the scan button to scan the radio channels then you can manually tune it and then you can do the previous and all of the sound settings from this option so this car comes with the bose music system which is 10 speaker music system and all of the settings can be changed from here there's bose center point i suggest you keep both these options on because after that the sound clarity is phenomenal there is also the clock settings that also can be accessed later on i will show you the menu through which you can use that there is communication menu which so my phone isn't connected here right now but if it is it will show me all these settings like the favorites contacts call history dial sms and uh, finer settings that i want to do then there is the navigation system the navigation system is pretty straightforward you know you can use it but uh, i prefer just the android auto or the apple carplay and the google maps using that but otherwise it's still a decent system but you know it's just better because you're familiar using the google maps so you can use the maps from here also you can select the point you can put it in the center where the pay your location is immediately you can enter in the new destination there's also a 3d view with which you can use the the system in general is a little bit laggy that i found sometimes like it takes a little while to you know just uh, the, go to the menu options that i have uh, pressed so uh, let me show you you know a little bit delay that is so you can see like when i press it it takes a little bit so again this is the adapter display which is your heads up display so i can change the settings on that i can change the brightness i can change the rotation there's also the display information which is your 
the information on this so i can change that also there is also street information there is a lot of information and various settings that you can change from here you can also reset the system then there is the main display which is your display infotainment display screen and this display so you can change all the settings from here all the setting again you can reset also then there is the safety system so in the safety systems you can change the distance recognition system where it will warn you in in a certain distance you know as to how much the speed is reducing or when to break or something there is sbs cbs uh, there is also the blind spot monitoring system again you can change the system switch it on or off and also how you know intense you want the monitoring system to work there is lane keep assist system you can change various settings from here you know when do you want the alert when do you want the warning about you know changing lanes and the alert type which is the vibration is your steering so you can change to beep or rumbling and there is also the strength of the vibration and again the reset button that you can use so one thing is that if i want to go into the back menu either i have to either press the the on the screen itself or press this back button but using the dial i can't go back and that sometimes is a little tricky you know uh, especially when i am driving i have to remember that i have to press the back button so next is the sound system which i showed you before there are many ways you can access the sound settings from here there is also clock you can change the clock settings from here there is also the finer settings which is your vehicle settings now the rain sensing wipers if you want them on or off the door locks you can change uh you know how uh, when should the auto door locks work or not there is also keyless uh, lock beep volume which is the the amount of uh, beeping you want when you are entering without a key or leaving the car when the car is on and the beeping effect so the auto lock also there is also walk away lock i can keep it on or off then again let me show you like when i press the back button it doesn't do anything so i have to press it on screen buttons and there is turning feature so in that turn you want the flash to so when i press the turn it's three times when it would beep so if i want that to happen i can keep that option on or i can change it and then the indicator volume also i can change there is also uh, sorry vehicle then there is lighting so in the lighting department it's not going in so it took a little while but yes eventually it went in so in the lighting it's it the ambient lighting which are like laid around all inside the cockpit so uh, it, uh, the intensity of that the interior light time out you know when the door is open the light would stay on then whenever you wanted to automatically switch off the lights would go off after 30 minutes you can change that from here you know the timing as to 10 minutes or one hour and also there is interior light timeout when you close the door it will be 15 seconds you can change those lights there's adaptive led headlights there is also light on volume the coming home light so when you leave the car and or when you uh, unlock the car the light will stay on for that much amount of time and leave a home light so when you lock the car the light will stay on auto headlight feature on again reset button all of that can be changed from here there are devices so your bluetooth android auto and apple carplay all can be managed from here there's also network management so you can also give the hotspot from the car itself so you can connect your phone and give hotspot to people sitting in the car and there is also system so this is the intense bits where you can change everything like your minor settings from your tool tips the language the temperature in degrees or fahrenheit the distance miles or kilometers the music database update and the factory reset again about is about your car so that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you think this video was helpful in understanding the adaptive cruise control and the infotainment system on the mazda cx5 now if you want to subscribe to my channel then click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here i shall see you in the next video bye bye and take care